Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up Cocos 2DX version 4 on Linux to be able to develop for the Linux platform. If you're interested in setting it up for, you know, Android on Linux, feel free to check out that video or on Mac for Mac or Android or iOS development. I've got videos covering that and for, you know, all the Windows platforms as well. So feel free to check them out. So first of all, what we need to do is download a few things. And I'll provide a link to everything in the description. Let me reload this page. It's not properly appearing. Uh, so yeah, first of all, you need to go to cocos.com and yeah. Okay, so first click this. Go to products, cocos 2dx. It, it might just appear right at the top for you because I have zoomed in quite a bit, so it's sort of gone into like a mobile mode for me. So just click download. Uh, waiting for this to download it should be like 200 or so megabytes i'm gonna cancel it because i've already got it next what you want to do is download code blocks and this is the ide we will be using now you can go to download from here go through you know binary release scroll down to linux depending on what distro you want just you know either f use one of the links or follow this guide here if you have some sort of app store on here this will probably have it as well the linux one definitely does so you can just install it from there as well so as long as you got code blocks you're all good to go the next thing i've already got to open there what we need is uh, Uh, yeah the next thing that we need is cmake and we need to run a particular command for that and the command i have it in here this is the command that you need to run sudo snap install cmake dash dash classic with you know spaces in between here i will put this in the description click enter it's going to ask you for your password this is just the password that you would use to log into your linux you know user bear in mind when you start typing something so i'm going to start typing my password in it doesn't actually appear but it is getting you know registered so just make sure you know you type it in click enter and for me i've already got it installed so if you know for you you probably won't have it installed just you know go through the process anything that he asks you to accept just accept and we can check the version like so you need a pretty new version if you install this command you'll get the version that you need we need python which is actually already built in which is a fantastic so we can close this down now and we don't actually need this anymore and what we want to do now is the cocos 2dx file that we downloaded where it downloads but i've transferred it into documents development so this is the structure that i like to use you want to make sure it's somewhere that you're not going to be moving it around and renaming the folders because every time you create a new project it will refer to this so you want to right click uh, extract here and depending on because I've got an SSD so, you know extracted it really fast and here is the code so what we I'm just going to rename this to Cocos 2DX this is optional reason I like to do this is because in case I update the version it's not an outdated version in the folder name it's just keep stuff consistent okay so there's a couple of things we need to do in here first of all we need to run this command install dash depth dash linux so we're just going to install the dependencies so if we run that uh, first of all we need to actually nav we need to navigate to that folder so to do that we can do cd kind of awkward because i've zoomed in quite a bit and now click enter and if I type in ls, this is optional, shows me everything that says. So we need to run this command. To run it, you do dot forward slash install, and then you can just click tab or type it out and click enter. It's going to ask this shell will install dependency for Cocos 2DX. Click yes. Um, just needs the password. So again, that password that we used before. And here we go. So just wait patiently for this to complete. For me, it was really quick because I had already set it up. So probably didn't download anything for you. It might take a bit of time. Next, what we need to do is run the setup.py command. As we are still in that folder, it's right there to run it. Dot forward slash setup.py. Click enter. And what it's done is added the cocos 
you know, commands to our environment variable, that's automatic. It's asking for NDK root, which is for Android, so we can skip dive by pressing enter. It's asking for the Android SDK root, again, for Android, we can skip that by pressing enter. And the last thing that we need to do is just run this command. So that command there, without the quotation, right click, copy. This command is literally instant. That's it, that's done. To make sure it's work, type in Cocos. If you get something along the lines of this and not an error, that's all good to go. So I'm gonna clear the screen like so. And what we are gonna do now is we are going to create a project. So I'm gonna CD to the desktop. And I'll just like to do that by, you know, dragging and dropping a file on there. This keeps things easy. And we are going to generate a project. To do that, you put in Cocos, new, name of your project. So I'm going to say Epic Game, dash L, which is language. So CPP for C++, JS for JavaScript, and Lua for the Lua binding. So CPP I'm going to use, but it doesn't matter which one. Optionally, you can also put dash P, which is the package name, so something like, you know, scom.sonarsystems.epicgame, for example, or whatever domain you're using. Again, this is just an optional command. You can change it later on in your project settings, but I like to have it from the start. So click enter, it will create it. And again, it might take a bit of time, depending on if you've got an SSD or not, because I've got one, it's really fast. And now what we want to do is I want to clear screen again. This just basically moves it down. <laughs> That's literally all it does. We need to navigate into, if we go into here, it's got classes, which is where all of our code will reside. Cocos 2D, so this is just the Cocos 2D library. Some project files, we're only interested in that one. And uh, resources, which where all our images, fonts, sound files will go, and CMake. So we need to run CMake. And to do that, we need to CD to our Linux directory, so cd to that, so cd, like so. And in here, there's only one file, the main.cpp, which is the main entry point. We need to generate the project files for code blocks. To do that, type in cmake dot dot, and that just goes back one folder, because the cmake files are there, but we want to generate it into here. And put space, dash g, space, quotation marks, but just put empty quotation marks and this is invalid. And the reason I wanted to show you this was, so let me zoom out a bit. I'm meant to be zooming out and it's just making smaller. Okay, so hopefully you should be able to see that fine. And so these are the generators that are supported. We're going to use this one, Code Blocks Unix Make Files. So feel free to use one of the others, something for Eclipse or Sublime, for example. So to do this, we put again, we just need that command cmake dot dot dash g. And in quotation marks, just copy one of these. So this one, you know, definitely works. And we've that's what we want to do for Code Blocks. Click paste, close quotation marks, and now just click enter. It's gonna generate the files really fast. It's all done it now. As you can see in Linux, it's got the all the files. It's not no longer some main.cpp. If you double click this, it's launched up the project. You can compile your project from the terminal. So from the product.linux folder, you can do make, click enter, and it will compile it. Or alternatively, we can compile it from here. So if I do this, I wouldn't recommend just using the run button because that just runs the last build. If that's what you want, great, but make sure you press this on the build and run. If I click this and it will start to just compile all the files. All these files are compiling are the Cocos files, and this really only needs to happen once unless you do you know a fresh rebuild, which I think the button is there. Generally speaking, you'll just build any new files that you add or any files that you change from your project, which is really quick. And where's the percentage? We're at about 9%. I'll find 
in code blocks, the actual compilation is like super, super fast. If you do via terminal, it's not as fast. If, you do, if I do it on like Windows via in Visual Studio, it's not as fast. Okay, we get this, that's fine. You must select a host application to run. In this drop down, select Epic Game or whatever your project name was. Ignore all the others, Epic Game. And again, we can just press this one, build and run. It didn't really need to build anything, so it just ran really quickly. And that's it, that's our application. And we can close it down, close this terminal down. And all of the files are in here, sources and headers. So the ones we're dealing with is classes and classes. We don't need to deal with the project.linux or Cocos 2D because we're just to be leveraging it from the classes folder. So if in here, let me show you if I modify it, because currently, if you look, it says hello world. I'm going to change it so it says hello world XYZ. And if I, if I was to press the run command, it runs the last build, which we don't want. You want to press that one it's going to go through a bit of compilation just the hello world scene that's it that's all unmodified and that's it that's the new code so that is it that is how you set up cocos 2dx version 4 for c plus plus javascript and lua on linux for linux development if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video